Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solution. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to add a button that runs a workflow, a button to the ribbon up here. So what you first need to do is, of course, build your workflow. And I've already done that in a previous demonstration where I have a workflow that says move expired and that moves a document by copying it first to the archive and then deleting the actual show document. In this case, I'm going to change this, so I'm not going to do this check. I'm just going to delete that condition and move these things out of the condition. Move action down. There we go. And the same with that one, so we don't need the condition anymore. There we go. So, and then I'll just remove this condition altogether. Oh, there we go. Delete. There we go. And instead, I'm going to do another action that actually sets a field in the current item. And I'm going to set document status to value expired. This workflow is not going to start automatically, of course. I'm just going to allow this workflow to be manually started. Now, when I publish this, the user can, of course, go in and actually use the workflow. But that's a bit tricky. They have to select the document, files, and workflows. And then they'll see the workflow there in a second, move expired. And that will work, of course, but it's quite a few clicks. So I want to make this a bit simpler for the user by adding a button up here. The way to do that is to go into the document library and add a new custom action. And the custom action will be on the view ribbon. And I'm just going to go ahead and call that expire document, or just expire is enough, or expire documents, document, and move it to the archive, like that. And when that button is clicked, I'm going to initiate a workflow and move it, and uh, do, run this uh, workflow move expired. And as you see, I don't even have to save that. I just create the custom action and it's saved automatically for me. So now if I go ahead and refresh this page, refresh there, again go into the file tab there, you've seen I now have a button that says expire on it. And if I use that button, it will actually kick off my workflow. And in a few seconds, that network store document here should actually be moved to the archive. And you see it all set to expired there. In a few seconds, we'll actually see it disappear. It's one thing to consider about workflows that they do not run synchronously. They do run after a little while. So you will have a waiting period before the action that you've designed actually happens. And there it is. It's gone and it's moved into the archive. Now, to make this a bit nicer, I am going to add a picture to this button right there. And I'm going to do that by simply going into Paint and drawing something. And of course, the picture I need to make is going to be, I'm going to do Resize. It's going to do, be 32 by 32 pixels. So I might just do that. And then I'll do one of these, yellow. Uh, let's see if we can make that work. Yep, that works rather nicely, doesn't it? A yellow little button there. And I'm just going to save that. And I'm going to save that into my SharePoint site, my site assets. I'm going to go in Site Contents here. Copy the URL to my site assets, copy shortcuts, and then I'll save that by pasting in here. And of course, I don't want the actual view, I just want the site assets. So I'm going to enter that, and I can save directly into the site assets. So I'm going to go ahead and name that expire. And I'm just going to copy that URL there and save. And then in SharePoint Designer, I'm going to go in and modify this action double-clicking on that, and just add the button right there, the button image, and there we go, site assets, and what did I call it now, expire.png, right? Okay, and again, that doesn't need any saving, so I'm going to go back into my documents here, and then go into the files tab, and there we see expire. As you see, if I don't select anything, then it's yeah, a bit grayed out. But if I select something, and I can click expire, and that works. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.